Hi guys, I just wanted to share with you my new and improved skincare routine. Not much has changed, oh, sorry. Um, not much has changed since the last blog post I wrote, except that I'd say now it's even a little more natural. Um, I do wash my face every day. I do exfoliate and moisturize every single day. Um, my skin is usually pretty normal, like it's drier in the winter and a little more oily in the summer. But I'd say that's kind of how most people are, so um, just to give you the background on that. So to wash my face, I use honey. Um, this particular kind we get at Publix, but you can order honey from Amazon. I love Trader Joe's organic raw honey. It's a little bit gritty, so you get a little bit of an exfoliation when you kind of rub it into your skin. Um, I do prefer organic raw honey. Um, I just like that it's more in its natural state and it's good stuff. Um, so what I do is I just scoop it out of the jar, I rub it all over my face, I let it sit there for a minute or two, like maybe while I shave my legs or, um, I don't know, scrub, do a body scrub or something like that. Um, and then I just rinse it off and my face is left really moisturized and soft. Honey is naturally antibacterial and it's chock full of antioxidants, super nourishing for your skin. It's great, great stuff. Um, next, if I know that I have been sweating a lot or if I've worn a lot of makeup that day, um, I will try to take any last stuff and junk out of my pores with Thayer's Witch Hazel Aloe Vera <laughs> Toner. Sorry, it's a mouthful. Um, I order mine from Amazon. It's great stuff. It's the only toner I think I've ever used that doesn't make me feel like, oh, my skin is so tight and dry. Um, it doesn't really dry me out as much as other stuff does. I do use it minimally. Like I said, if I know I've been sweating or worn a lot of makeup, um, I'll definitely just put some on a little cotton round and get all the junk out. Um, I mentioned exfoliation and doing a body scrub. I do a body slash face scrub um, probably every other day, sometimes every day, it just depends. Um, and it's so easy and so amazing. I've used literally tons of body scrubs in my life and this is by far the easiest, most inexpensive, most amazing one yet. Um, it uses stuff from your kitchen. So I have on hand some dark brown public sugar but you can use any brown sugar. I think even white sugar would work totally fine. Um, and then some extra virgin olive oil. We buy a huge thing of it from Costco because we cook with it and do a ton with it. Um, so what I do is I take two tablespoons of brown sugar. That's about what I use per shower when I know I'm gonna scrub with it. Um, and then half as much olive oil. So a tablespoon of olive oil. And you can add vitamin E, like if you um, drop little droplets of vitamin E in there or maybe some essential oils. I think like a lavender essential oil would be awesome in this, um, but those are optional. But um, what I do is I just scrub my whole body with it and since it's sugar and usually you take warm showers or baths, um, it just eventually melts off and you're left with this really soft, moisturized skin. I, it's Seriously, the best thing I've ever used on my skin. I get out of the shower and I don't have that tight skin, really dry, I need lotion right away feeling. It's it's awesome. Um, and speaking of dry skin, my body skin tends to be a little bit dry all the time. So I use coconut oil. I rub it all over my body, including my face, and just let it soak in. And I have been using it on the baby bump. There are literally hundreds of stretch mark preventi preventative body butters and oils and salves and all that stuff. Well, I don't know. It, it's all kind of the same thing and this coconut butter, I'm sorry, coconut oil is absolutely phenomenal. I love it and I've actually seen, I used to have, even before baby, I used to have some stretch marks on my hips and those have actually diminished. It's crazy stuff. So I love, love, love coconut oil. Um, last thing is I also put gelatin, whoop, you can't see that, gelatin in my smoothies, sometimes my tea, um, you can put it in soups. Um, gelatin is the mashed up bones of animals, which sounds kind of weird, but it's phenomenal stuff. Um, it 
It is, consume, it is made up of a ton of amino acids, um, which form the building blocks to our hair, skin, nails, ligaments, joints, bones, all the stuff that we want to be really strong and healthy. Um, so if you're ingesting that, your body uses that to further the health of your bones and hair and nails and ligaments and all that good stuff. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff that I could not recommend more. And there you have it, folks. That's what I do for my new improved, really natural, clean skincare routine. If you have any more questions or feedback or anything else, let me know. I will link all this stuff below in the blog post. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye.